basketball legend Dondon Antiveros and other top athletes led the second leg of the Sea Games Torch Relay. As the biennial meet draws near, the local organizing committee says they are 100% ready to host the Games. Ryan Ang has the report. All roads led to the Queen City of the South yesterday for the second leg of the Sea Games Torch Relay. More than 6,000 athletes, sports and government officials, and students gathered for the event. Presidential Assistant for Visayas, Michael Dino, and Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella led the ceremonial lighting of the 38th Sea Games Mini Cauldron. I think this is now a signal that to, to unify all uh, parts of the country, uh, unify FISCO, unify PSC, POC, uh, uh, the Senate, the Congress, uh, all our government officials. So uh, I think this one uh, unified effort, the torch run is a unified effort, can we win this one? Peace Cox COO Ramon Suzara also reiterated the readiness of the country to host the biggest SEA Games ever. For me, it's 100%. <laughs> Problems are normal, but it's 100% already. PBA legend Dondon Hontiveros and his fellow top athletes from Cebu, downhill skateboard bet Tomas Romualdez, triathlon up-and-comer Andrew Kim Remolino, and karate stars Sara Pangilinan and OJ De Los Santos served as torchbearers for the 5-kilometer run. I added inspiration and just seeing that you know, that I could actually help motivate others to, you know, help inspire others that, and to, to do their best. It's an honor for me po na parang ilid po yung uh, mga Cebuano runners sa pagdala ng torch during the torch run. Athletes have two weeks left before competing in the 56 sports and 530 events of the biennial meet. And most of them are confident with the preparations they've had. Relax, meditate a little, and yeah, just try to focus. I mean, I worked hard for it, and now I just need to execute. I'm proud that I'm proud of the Games. 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 I'm proud of uh, you're knowing your family, your country is behind you. The Sea Games torch will have its third and last stop in Clark Pampanga on Saturday. For News 5, Ryan Ang, We Are One News.